This video is going to explain how to send and receive SMS messages using the 2G modem of the Andino X1 and Andino IO boards. Before following this tutorial, you first need to have finished the baseboard setup of the board. A video on how to do that will be linked here once it's available and the text-based explanation will also be linked in the video description. You also need to already have removed the pin code of the SIM card that you're going to be using. This can be done, for example, by using a phone and a tutorial for Android and iOS will be in the description. Also note that only micro SIM cards will be supported to enter into the modem. First, the housing has to be opened and the SIM card has to be entered into the modem. To do so, first shut down your Raspberry Pi and disconnect the power cable. Afterwards, Take a flat hat screwdriver and use it to lift up these four latches on both sides of the Andino housing. First try to open them on one side and lift them a little out of place. Then rotate the housing and open the two latches on the other side as well. After that, the lid can just be flipped over. The SIM card now needs to be installed into the modem according to the little imprint on the modem. After having inserted the SIM card, the housing can now be closed again. Afterwards, we need to install some tools for testing purposes. To do so, first run sudo apt install minicom elinks screen. We will use minicom for testing the connection. And before doing so, we first need to enter the minicom serial port setup. To do so, run sudo minicom dash dash setup. Here navigate to serial port setup, enter it with enter. Then go to Serial Device by pressing A and enter TTYSC1 if you're on an Andino X1 and if you are using an Andino IO, enter TTYAMA0. Besides that, set the bitrate to 38400 and turn the hardware flow control to No. Afterwards, press enter to exit out of the menu, click save setup as default, and then click exit. After having finished the setup, we can now test the modem connection. By typing AT, you can see if the modem is responding. By typing ATI, you can see the modem model. For debugging purposes, errors can be shown as text messages by running AT plus CMEE equals 2. Finally, the network connectivity can also be checked. First, you can see if the SIM card is ready by running AT plus C pin question mark. To check if the network connection is available, enter AT plus COPS question mark. And to check the current signal quality, run AT plus CSQ. And in this table you can see an overview which value means what. If everything seems to be okay, the SIM card should now be set up for sending and receiving SMS messages. To do so, first switch the modem into text mode by running AT plus CMGF equals 1. Now an SMS message can be sent by running AT plus CMGS equals and then the phone number in quotation marks. After hitting enter, you can now type in a message. 
And to send the message, just press Control Z. Once you get a message, you get this little notification in the console. And reading messages can be done by running at plus cmgl equals, and then in quotation marks, rec unread. This will first show the index number of the message, the phone number that the message is from, and the timestamp when it was received. After that, of course, the content of the message will be displayed. Note that this command will only display unread messages. To cancel out of Minicom again, press Ctrl A followed by X. Thank you for watching this video about sending SMS messages with Andino boards.